Hey Taurus, Jack Elman here. This is your general reading for the week of October 9, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, if you're seeking a personal reading, remember it is JackieTomlin.com. You'll find a menu of options over there for readings as well as um, you will also find that your horse goes for October and November are currently up on the website. Okay, Taurus, these are general readings. Take with you what resonates, leave behind what does not. A couple signs that jump out that may or may not resonate with you. Actually, three of them. Leo, Scorpio, and or Aquarius may or may not, may not resonate with you. Uh, first thing I see is that you're going to have to address some self-esteem issues. Some of you've got um, some kind of outing to go to. Um, hmm. Some type of celebration, and I'm thinking this is might where I'm seeing your anger flare up, either at this outing or because of this outing, okay? You do carry a very high drive for success in regards to your professional life. Uh, you're under a powerful new beginning with new doors opening, but there's something here going back to your anger and temper that you may be feeling used, and you may, <laughs> you may be feeling used, and you may be feeling... Um, taken advantage of so this may be telling someone no as to where your anger and temper is coming in yay hello miss dana all right let's see what kind of messages we've got for you this week we have okay someone is coming to tell you something or you only have a fragment of the information i'm going to go back to your temper okay what maybe has fueled your fire or made you mad you don't have the whole story very high vibration energy, and you're doing something to express your, express your individuality. Now, you may find cardinals, blue jays, or feathers around you as we, you are surrounded by your ancestors this week. Pay close attention to your dreams. You are in denial about something, okay? And we have that you're protected by the white light. I also see here, some of you may be dealing with someone that is battling some form of addiction. Okay. Um, yeah, there's this deceitful person surrounding you. Someone that's not being total honest. And there it is, the chaos, the temper. Okay. It's there. There's your anger. There's a message that's coming into you out the blue. When I say out the blue, I mean totally out the blue. Something you're not expecting. Okay. And you're trying to get back into the groove of things. So looks like you've been off your routine for a while. Movement is talking about someone moving in, someone moving out. Uh, some of you are residential move. It's for some of you, I'm talking about just motivation. Getting your motivation back. There is an intensity and in love here. The number 46 is jumping out. And some of you are feeling caged and trapped. So feeling like you have nowhere to go. That you're stuck. That you're feeling stuck. All right, let's see what we got. Strength is on your side to get you through no matter what. Nice. You've got choices to make. Okay, and it says that you know right from wrong. So base it on that. Uh, someone wants your understanding, your forgiveness. And we have, you're going to have more than one wish fulfilled. You right now are searching at where you belong. Where do you fit in? Where you belong? What are you supposed to be doing? And this is spirit summoning you, asking you to be still so spirit can speak to you. Or you can receive those signs and synchronicities to answer just that question of what you're supposed to be doing. All righty, let's get into your reading. Again, this is for Taurus for the week of October 9th, 2023. Clear about the phone. Right. I am Sag on Sag with some Aries. All fire. Alrighty. First card up, we have the Five of Swords. You are guarded. You're defensive. You got your cat claws out. 
and it's coming from this moon energy. And that moon energy is leading you six of swords, six of swords, a breakthrough of some sorts. This is talking about leaving the trouble waters, heading off into the calm, doing your thing. Something to the better. Some of you have, might be planning a cruise. I want to throw that out there. I do see that as well. Let's see what else we have going on here. We have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, you may be dealing with Scorpio energy, asking you to open your heart to give love, open your heart to receive love. The bottom line is open your heart. Oh, wow. Look, Taurus, you got the magician trumping your reading in the center of your reading. The magician, your yes answer, getting everything you want, everything you desire. It is all presented on that table before you in some shape, form, or fashion. Everything you want is going to come into play with the Empress. Pretty powerful stuff here. That Empress, the mother card, positive changes on the home front. Honestly, I think somebody is viewing you as the Empress, you know, which is above the King and Queens. So let's see what else we have here. We have the Four of Swords talking about the calm before the storm. Okay. Um, get the rest that you can while you can before things head into a very, very fast pace for you. And it's going to begin right here with this new beginning in your money sector. New beginning in finances upcoming. Faith is really coming rushing in. Which is going to provoke the five of wands. That's why you're guarded and defensive. <laughs> the five of wands. Which says. Avoiding some family drama. There's also some type of event here. I just see a get together. And, uh, and a bunch of people bickering. Okay. Avoid it. Avoid it at all cost. And I say this because it's going to be very brief. Very, very brief, very passing, and just not worth investing in. Okay. Five of Swords. We're looking at the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is talking about you're holding yourself back. Because you're guarding defensive, you're holding yourself back from something. Right. The Moon says you may be juggling a little bit financially. Okay. You may be borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. But remember, that's because the new beginning of money is coming. Okay, so hang on. It just says hang tight. You will get what you want. Now, the six of swords, you know, you're leaving the trouble waters. You're heading off into the calm. And uh, you're making some travel plans. I'm pretty adamant some of you are getting ready to go on a cruise. Okay. Queen of Cups, opening your heart, opening your heart to give love, opening your heart to receive love. And we have the chariot. That is beautiful. They push, places the chariot right beside the magician. Either card trumping your reading. This is your yes answer. This is getting everything you want and desire. Now the cool thing about the chariot. It is going to come rushing in. And it's coming when you least expect it. And I can see you saying, I told you so. I told you so. So whatever it is you're wanting, someone had little faith in that because I definitely hear you saying, I told you so. Victory is there. Victory and success. The magician comes in with that page of pentacles. Um, when, when a part of your new beginning is going to be a good business offer. Could be working with a Capricorn or somebody that I would just really consider to be successful because they're a workaholic. The Empress, the Empress energy comes into play with the fool. Love that energy. Says you're happy, go lucky, you're carefree, you're doing you. Um, you're getting ready to jump into something with two feet. Let's see what it is because you're in that calm before the storm indicates movement. Movement on the home front. And again, like I said, motivation. That calm before the storm of getting the rest that you need is because you are definitely hit, setting yourself up to head into a fast pace. And this Ace of Pentacles comes in with the Three of Swords. I want an advice third party. I want an advice and or opinion. Someone sticking their nose in your business. 
Five of Wands comes with the Five of Cups. Get out your head. So now we are avoiding conflict. And we have to get out of our head. Bottom line is two fives together. It indicates challenges. Not obstacles, but challenges. And, you know, overall, not the ideal, but nothing you created. Bonus card is you are under that death card energy. Endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. So you can expect one door to close, one door to open. So either way, it's a powerful new beginning for you. Okay, so your remaining messages for the week here. What we're looking at for my Taurus. You know, guarded and defensive, holding yourself back. It says, today is a sacred gift from the universe. Maybe you're just putting yourself, placing yourself in that protective bubble. The moon comes in with the two of pentacles. You're stressing over money. My destiny will reveal itself within time. Yep. Because like I said, when you're talking about money matters, you never can get it quick enough. Okay. It's coming. You see the new beginning of money is here. But when you need it now, you need it now. Right. I get that. Now we're talking about that Six of Swords and the Two of Wands planning of travel. And I am seeing a cruise for a lot of you. So strong, brave, and bold. So this may be a bold move. This may be something on a whim that is scheduled. I like it. I like the energy of it. Queen of Cups with the Chariot. Opening your heart. Rushing in. Unexpected. Getting what you want. I am powerful and I am loved. Amen to that. Right? Center of the reading with that magician and the death card energy with the good business deal. Okay, so what we're looking at here. New beginning. And it says manifest your wishes. Definitely manifest your wishes. You're sitting on a magician and a chariot in this in this entire reading. So yeah, whatever makes you mad, whatever has driven you. It is driving you right up to the point of getting everything you want. Okay. So this is one of those things that moon energy has definitely worked in your favor. The Empress with the Fool having you jump into something with two feet says, I am filled with love and light. And movement coming in here. And that movement is coming on that calm before the storm. You can't change anyone else, just yourself. That's going to be a key for you to remember in regards to your temper. It's going to be key in regards to controlling your temper this way. That new beginning in your money with that three of swords, third person, someone putting their nose in your business, says you are energy and you are magic. That's why they're attracted to you, why they're drawn to you. There's something magical about you. It's something like you've got that Midas touch going on. So that's what's drawing them in. Then we had the five of wands with the five of cups. It says forgive yourself. Challenges. Just forgive yourself. All right. Taurus bonus card. Just like the moon, I will go through phases. Absolutely. And you've got a lot of phases. You've got a temper issue. You've got the energy of the moon. You've got the chariot and the magician overriding all that. You're going to go through phases this week. Going to be an emotional week. The bottom line is you get what you want. Taurus, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget JackieDama.com if you're seeking a personal reading. And uh, logging off and coming back. Gemini and Geminis are up next. Bye.